Pat it. This is the mutant on the microphone, Hudson Valley Hank, here to talk about a wide-spanning issue that reaches far outside the grasp of the second greatest valley on Earth. I'm speaking, of course, about daylight savings. Besides sounding like a failed chain of South Florida saving banks, daylight savings is a long-standing tradition that has made people miss meetings around the globe for centuries. Like all implements of torture, daylight savings originated in Germany. The Germans adopted this new policy not only to piss off the population, but also to conserve fuel during World War I. Not to be outdone by any crusty crowds, America followed suit and decided they too needed to get involved with their citizens' sleep schedule. The policy of daylight savings lasted only seven short months until Congress uncharacteristically did something useful and repealed it. Twenty-three years later, daylight savings reared its ugly head once again when Franklin Delano Roosevelt mandated it year-round during a particularly powerful polio attack. After 1945, when wartime daylight savings had officially ended, there were several years of unorganized chaos. States and localities were able to unilaterally decide whether or not to observe daylight savings time. This round-the-clock clusterfuck took 41 years to sort out. In 1986, legislation finally unified daylight savings in the U.S., stating that it would begin at 2 a.m. on the second Sunday of March and end at 2 a.m. on the first Sunday of November. Now that it is 2018 and Americans are bathing themselves in electrodes, Old Hank thinks it's high time we heave this hapless habit. Even if we do come together and decide daylight savings is no longer necessary, history tells us it will be at least 40 years before lawmakers can be bothered with repealing it, at which point we will probably be in the throes of World War III and wartime daylight savings will once again be upon us. Old Hank has come to accept that we will spend the rest of our mortal lives losing and gaining an hour of sleep, locked in some sort of never-ending cycle of monotony. But there is at least one way we can make this ridiculous ritual more bearable. For starters, we can stop the incessant reminding of the impending time change because our society no longer runs on clocks you have to manually adjust like some mid-century timekeeper. We all are slaves to phones and computers that do this without our input because they are our superiors and the human race is obsolete. This has been Hudson Valley Hank. You can take it to the bank. Sleep peace, sweet Valley Bank.